What's up guys, it's Android at Night and today I'm going to run through a really quick hardware, I guess not face off, but just sort of a comparison between the HTC One, which um, is actually a black HTC One, I've got some skin type things on here, but they don't really affect um, what I'm going to be going to be saying, so that doesn't really matter, I can leave them on. And then here I've got my new Nexus 5, which I'm really, really loving, I'm going to do a few more videos on this um, as well after I film this, so look forward to those. Now this one, the hardware on these two is very very different but they both feel really nice in the hand. The HTC One, if you've ever held one, has this really nice sort of industrial, somewhat iPhone-y feel to it and it's really quite heavy and you really do feel when you pick it up, you're picking up sort of a, a well designed chunk of metal. Feels really nice in the hand, the way it bevels makes, feel, feel, uh, makes it feel really thin. Uh, the volume and stuff are all on the one side and they're perfectly fine and then you've got the power button on top. I do actually prefer the Nexus 5's power button on the side. This, um, I got used to it but actually just getting back to doing it with your thumb or with your finger like that is uh, much much easier. Um, and also I like about this when you pick it up it's really cold if you haven't used it for a while because it is metal so it does feel sort of really substantial. Whereas in comparison the Nexus 5 feels a bit like it's going to float away and that's not in a bad way. It feels really light. It doesn't feel plastic and cheap but it feels sort of very minimalist, that's the best way to describe it. It feels really nice in the hand. Again, it contours much like the one. It is slightly thinner, um, though at times the one does feel thinner just because the edges are, as you can see there, they contour in that little bit more. This feels slightly more, not chunkier, but slightly more, uh, I'm not sure how to describe it, slightly more flat on the back. It doesn't feel rounded like the HTC One's one does. But at the same time, it doesn't, it doesn't by any means feel thick because it is actually thinner than the one. Fits really nicely in your hand. All the buttons are really easy to access, which I really like about it. No, nothing on the front, obviously, which again is a purely design, uh, design preference. But I love the fact that the front of the Nexus 5 is so clean and minimalist. And it's just like one big glass slab. Whereas this one, you've obviously got the speakers um, breaking up at the top and the bottom. But overall, I think both of these are really well made. This is obviously cheaper because it's made by plastic, but it doesn't feel sort of cheap Samsung plastic. It feels a little bit nicer. It does give a touch if you press it, but um, that's sort of more like it almost vibrates. You can't really feel it pushing in, and you can't actually buckle the back like you can with Samsung devices. So I wouldn't judge this by a Samsung. It feels sort of slightly closer to maybe a Nokia, um, something of that something of that um, design made with the same sort of plastic but I really do like the design on this, it feels really minimalist, really nice and clean and it really does sort of punch you in the face with the uh, content on the screen because as you can see the bezel, actually I'll change the wallpaper or we'll open a, another coloured app so you can see as you can see the bezel on this is absolutely mini, uh, the one is unfortunately out of battery but the bezel on this you can actually see you can see the edge of the screen and the bezel there and it's much much bigger than on the Nexus 5 so um, I've made the jump from the 1 to the 5, I'm going to be selling my 1 and I'm not going to regret it. I really like this phone, but at the same time I love this Nexus 5, I think it feels really good. Um, and on top of that everything else, sort of the software, uh, the performance, everything like that is really good. Um, I'll do a separate video on those, this is just a quick hardware comparison. But let's hold them next to each other that last time. You can see they really are very very similar in size. But obviously the 5 has got that slightly bigger screen. Um, I think it does feel slightly smaller just because it's a much lighter, uh, much lighter design and this is a bit more angular. This sort of you don't really notice you're holding it, whereas the one you're very aware that you are holding something. So it really is a preference thing. Um, I think that's the thing you should probably choose these devices on actually. If you're looking to pick up either a one or a Nexus 5, um, go by what it looks like. The performance on these is very, very similar. If you have to have the cutting edge sort of Android 4.4 dot whatever the hell it's on by the time this video goes live, then go for the Nexus. But if it really is just a pure battle of how it's going to feel and look, um, just choose which one you like because they both feel great but they do look a bit different. And if you can, get into a shop, pick both of them up and I think you'll, you'll make the decision pretty quickly about which one you prefer and both are fantastic phones. So this has been Android at Night. Please subscribe if you haven't seen me before and I'll see you guys in the next video.